So for those agents out there that are that are um, newer or struggling, uh, what's some tips that you can give as as uh, as we close out here in a few minutes? What what's some thoughts or some advice or some motivation or some help that you can provide? Um, this is this is the subject that's near and dear to me. Um, wow. Because uh, this industry's changed my life. Um, <clears throat> you know, 12 years ago when I first started in the insurance industry, I, I didn't have anything. I had nothing. And um, the majority of my career, I have been fortunate to spend with um, business owners. And I'm kind of a, got a little bit of an analytical mind. I like to pay attention and look for patterns and, and kind of see mm-hmm. Um, what, what I can notice. And the one thing that I noticed over and over and over again, um, because I, I went out and I, you know, wrote these companies. I mean, some of them, um, was like a one man operation and some, some of these guys had, you know, 30, 50, 75 employees. And I always looked for like, what's the difference? Because ever since I was a little kid, I've wanted to do business and, and I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And I, you know, obviously all of us want to be successful, right? So we're always looking for those differentiating factors. And the one thing that I found over and over and over again is the guy that made the most amount of money or, or gal, um, I just say guy, but yeah, uh, the person that made the most amount of money, they, they weren't necessarily the smartest. Um, they weren't, you know, the hardest workers always. They, I mean, they were all hard workers and, sure. and they, you know, but but they there was really nothing where it was like oh all the smartest people make the most amount of money or all the people with the most connections you know they they're the most successful or have the biggest crews or you know uh, biggest workforce it, it was always just the people that don't quit and it seemed like the people that don't quit they'd refuse to take no for an answer um, they keep going even in the face of it like not really I mean at a certain point in time an idea is bad, right? And you got to yeah. drop it and you got to move on to something else with your life. But yeah. insurance, you know, there's, there's so much opportunity. Um, there's, there's a lot of competition, but you know, those of us that call people back and stay in touch and really care and really want to, it, it seems like there's a little bit less competition for us. Yeah. And um, that, that was the thing that, that I noticed over and over again was the people they were just too stubborn to quit. They wouldn't take no for an answer. If one way didn't work, they'd go a different way, pivot and figure it out different. Um, but you know, they didn't stop until they figured it out. And then once they figured it out, they kept looking for a way to, to, you know, improve upon the idea. Um, so that to me is, is the number one piece of advice for anybody starting off is it's probably not going to be easy at first. It gets Mm -hmm. really easy later. Uh, in certain ways, and then new headaches pop up, right? Yeah. But um, you know, but but it, it gets a lot easier. And and if you don't quit now, in ten years, you'll thank yourself. No matter what your path in the insurance industry is, if you just want to be a producer and you just want to sell, or you just want to you know do CSR work, or you want to start your own agency and grow it and sell it, or whatever it is, whatever the path is that you want to take, you can do it. Um, you just have to put in the time to make it happen. That's right. Dude, I love it. Did did did. did. We just did April Nation virtual in April, and the ty- the theme was if you don't quit, you can't fail. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly the secret. Yeah, and most people, have you ever seen the 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 the, the graphic where the guy's hacking away, and he quits one step before he gets to like all these diamonds, you know, I don't know if you've seen that, but it's just like that. That's the insurance industry, man. You know, yeah, like it really is. There's somewhere in my office. We recently moved, so I don't know exactly where it's at right now, but I've got this poem. It's called don't you quit. And mm. it's the same thing. It's uh, it's, it's just, you know, often the goal is nearer than it seems to a faint and faltering man. And um, you know, it's at any given point, we have no idea how close we are. Not a clue. So true. So good, man. Dude, this has been fun, man. You, you, I, I, you, you, are, you are very cool, calm, and collective and casual on camera. I don't know if everybody's, anybody ever just said that, but really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Seriously. Like you got this calming, like social presence that is just warming. You know, it's awesome. Thank you. Thank so you. What, what, for those that haven't went to the insuranceconnector.com yet, mm-hmm. they're going to go, but they haven't been yet. What's, what's, uh, what's something you can uh, say as we close out to really uh, 
get their attention, to make them think, maybe I should be checking this thing out, man. Yeah, I mean, it's you've got nothing to lose and you've got everything to gain. Um, even even if you think, you know, well, my agency, you know, gosh, that sounds like a great service. I don't need it right now. Uh, you take it from somebody that's, you know, if the beginning of February of 2018, I didn't think I needed it either. But like five days into February, I really needed it real bad. <laughs> and so, um, wow. you know, if, if you go and and you sign up, even if you don't need it, you know, poke around on there, check out, see who's, see who's on there. Um, and, and get your profile ready for the day that something unexpected happens. And, That's right. um, you know, it's like the insurance way, right. You know, be prepared yeah. for, for what is, you know, maybe even if you don't think it's likely, I don't think I'm going to die, but I have life insurance. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, just get over there, sign up, check it out, maybe develop some relationships with some new carriers, you know, as a safeguard for your, your career, your agency, um, and then the day you need it, you just hop in there and start making phone calls and uh, you could, could save your agency. I was a new agent not too long ago. I started as an intern calling out of the phone book before I knew you're not even really supposed to be doing that. I, I, I feel like I get and understand new struggling insurance agents. Most people in our business are not the dude making seven figures rolling in it and traveling the world. Yep. Most of the people in our industry are struggling. Some even have part-time jobs. I want to be the guy that they can go to to, to really learn some knowledge and, and really help them. I was very fortunate to earn $117,361.13 in my first eight months. And I thought, if I can do that, I can probably help some other people too. We're building a massive following in the insurance industry to help agents. And I want to help you. Welcome to Posina. How do you guarantee success in the insurance industry? Welcome to Insurance Agent Training, everyone. Cody Askins is obviously a huge influence on the insurance industry. For me personally, I, I needed to, to learn the ropes and be able to look up to to somebody who's been there, done that, and, and Cody Askins has been everything and then some. I'm just so blessed and fortunate to have met Cody and, um, and his whole team. I love this business. I have a passion for this business. 92% of insurance agents fail. There are more millionaires in this industry than any other industry in the world. You're in the right place and I can tell you're serious. I believe the most important thing to be successful in this business is when agents like yourself right now spend money and take time to invest in themselves. If you love this interview and any part of it, you're like, dude, I don't want to make calls anymore. I maybe got a video for you how to make 5K a week and have to never pick up the phone. Check it out. Let, let's do that. Let's do that math, right? 5,000 bucks. If I want a minimum of 60% margin.